Carverite STL import software, tutorial number four, advanced import features. Once again, in your already open Carverite designer software, go to the file menu, select import, and then select import STL file. The STL import wizard will open and prompt you to choose an STL file. Browse to locate the desired STL file and click open. The file opens in the orientation window where it may be inspected and reoriented if needed. When inspecting this model, we notice some areas that are pink in color. The model should be entirely brown in color, and these pink areas indicate problems with the model. In this case, the surface normals are reversed in these areas, meaning they're inside out. Now normally, these kinds of problems make the model invalid, but with our software, we have some leeway in dealing with these kinds of situations. Let's start by orienting our model. We will choose whichever view seems appropriate to face forward. For this model, let's orient it so the side of the car is in the Z direction. We remove the tires from this model so that we can import them in separately. This way we can make the car roll when assembled. We notice that the imported car is 34 inches long. Let's scale the model to a more reasonable size. Let's make it 10 inches long. Notice here how the scale factor automatically calculates based on the new dimension. Remember the scale factor of 0.288 as we will need it again when importing the tire separately. With this number we can import our model in pieces and scale them all the same. We'll show you this with the tires. Select next. Okay, we are now in the slicing window. Let's begin by considering our slicing strategy. This model seems fairly straightforward. We need to slice off the front and back, the two sides, and then from top down. This model has no information regarding the undercarriage, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's start by slicing off the front. Select 90 degrees on the spin plane and translate it to the front of the car. Now we talked in tutorial 3 about using a 7 degree cut to compensate for the taper of the bit. So in order to make this slice seam properly, let's add that 7 degrees to this cut. Unfortunately, we see that this model didn't heal properly. This commonly happens when using non-solid models with reverse normals. This won't cause us too much trouble, but it does bring up a situation that will need to be addressed in the designer. We'll talk about that a bit later. Select the flip model button and cut off the back of the car. The 7 degree angle is still there, so all we need to do is rotate our plane around to cut off the sides of the car. Now we are left with the top of the car and all this leftover information down here. Let's tilt the slicing plane 90 degrees to the top of the car and select cut. Now it gets a little tricky. The only information we need from what's left is this hood section and the trunk section here. The rest of this is not necessary, so let's remove it. We'll need to set our spin plane to 90 degrees and then use the tilt slider to find an angle to separate the hood section from the rest of this. Now that we have this piece separated, let's reattach it back to the top of the car by dragging it up to the other slice. Notice how they glue together. This is an extremely useful capability unique to this software. Every slice can be healed back to any other slice by drag and drop. Let's flip the model again and slice off the trunk portion and heal it back as well. Now let's slice the top off. What we are left with is this slice which has a large gap in it. We'll fix this gap in the pattern editor. 
Use the cut button to make this a slice and proceed to the confirm window. Check to make sure that each slice is facing forward with the green slice plane behind it. Be sure to deselect the working slice with all the unnecessary information we cut out in it. Once you've confirmed that everything is as it should be, select finish. Now we'll need the tires. Go back into the designer, select import, import STL, and select the tire file. The tires open in our orientation window, and we see that they're all pink. We've already learned that this means that the surface is inside out and is a sign of an improper model. In the case where the entire model is all pink, select the right-handed checkbox to reverse all normals. Now it looks correct. Rotate the model so the tire is facing in the Z direction, and then using the scaling factor of .288, scale the model to the size of the rest of the car. Select Next. The entire tire fits within one slice, so select Cut and proceed to the next window. Confirm everything is set correctly and finish the import. Back in the designer, create a new project. We'll carve this out of a board that is 17 inches long, 10 inches wide, and 3 quarters of an inch thick. Open the pattern library and find the newly created slices under your favorites folder. First we'll need to fix some of these slices. Double click on the slice with the large gap in it. As you can see, it opens in the pattern editor software. We've got a few holes showing here in this area, so let's run the denoise filter to remove them. Now we want to fill in this gap and create one solid piece. So using the rectangle selection tool, draw a rectangle around this area. Zoom in to line it up. Next, use the Trim Edges filter to remove the green line around the pattern. Then use the Dropper tool to select the color right at the edge. Select the paint bucket and fill the selected area. Now we'll have a solid piece to glue to. Run the Round Edges filter and then export it back to the library. Let's also double click on the other patterns to check them. It looks like they all can use a denoise filter to remove unwanted holes. Now with all the patterns prepared, let's lay them out on the board. Draw a region around each of them and select the Pierce checkbox for the depth. Once they are arranged, we'll need to create the support tabs as we've done in other tutorials. But first we'll need to add a draft to a few of the pieces. The pattern we just fixed in the pattern editor will be the anchor point for all slices during reassembly. Unfortunately, we are unable to give it a matching 7 degree taper angle when importing because it is hollow. We can get around this by adding a small draft to the model in the designer software. This adds a 7 degree angle around the perimeter of the pattern. Let's add a small draft to the tires as well and set the bit optimization to best on all of the patterns. Setting the bit optimization to best should make everything carved clearer and more efficiently. 
you can now lay out the support tabs and carve your project.